Hey guys, I had someone, uh, I believe their name was Gone, um, request a close-up of my briar light. Uh, she actually happened to be at the top of my collection because I was working on her before we moved. So if you notice some things a little off about her, that would be why. Not sure why they wanted a close-up of her, but if you're wondering how I made her, there is a video on that. And I believe it was my 500 subscriber video where I briefly go over how I'm making her. Um, again, I used a scalpel tool, super glue, air dry clay, uh, folk art paint, and of course the simple colors, clear coat, and the uh, simple shine top coat. I also had someone uh, recommend to me um, Mod Podge. Now, I'm so sorry I can't remember your name off the top of my head. I apologize. Mod Podge is a good um, gloss or top coat or protector of paint, however, varnish, however you want to say it. The thing about Mod Podge, and I used to use it all the time, and I still actually use a lot of Mod Podge on a lot of my crafts because it is, it's a, it's a great product. The problem on my figurines is that for some reason, whenever I would use Mod Podge, and I would, it's not like I would just stick them all in there, I would leave them to dry. But even when they were dry, for some weird reason, they would stick together and then the paint would come off. And now I don't know why this was happening. Maybe I had the wrong Mod Podge. I could very well be. Cause I know they make different kinds. So I'll go out there and explore different types of Mod Podges. I'm always open to different types of varnish or um, coat protectors or what have you. So, you know, that could totally be on me. But Mod Podge is good. I, I Like I said, I use it for a lot of other crafts because it is waterproof. It is very durable and does protect a lot of stuff. So, yeah, that's actually an interesting idea. I, there's, there's different types of Mod Podges. Like I said, I might have been using the wrong one, frankly. But um, back to sweet little Briar Light here. So, as I said, on the original model... I actually, the, that, see that? So what I was doing there, originally her head was a little bit like humpbacked on. And so I took her head off, redid it, sawed it down. And I originally, I put a magnet in there to hold her head on. Turns out the magnet wasn't strong enough. So now her head is being held on. You know, not only with the magnet, but with super glue as well, that's what you see there. Just super glue residue, which I'm going to take care of. Because I'm thinking about repainting her into the more realistic cat look that I have going on. Um, again, the dark stripe was to pay homage to her father. Now, I wanted to make her tail um, dragging with her feet. Because in pictures, it almost seems like her tail can move and um I, I i don't know enough about cat anatomy like maybe it can if their pair back legs are paralyzed I, I don't know it just it seems like it was moving in some pictures and i was like oh i i don't think it's supposed to be able to move but what do i know uh had to take off her back legs and uh that's just fur and again i can always make that look a little bit better Took off her back legs, added some fur, made them a little, you know, inward so that it looks like she's dragging herself. And that's just residue from trying to saw that part. I apologize again that she's not in her best shape, but I will fix her. Like I said, I'm thinking about just completely doing a repaint on her and giving her those beautiful eyes that you all saw earlier with thrush pelt but yeah if you want to know how i made her just check out that other video where i go into a little bit of detail i'm also going to try to make her a little bit more stable because see sometimes she will fall 
and I'm trying because her head is a little top heavy. I mean, she's doing good now. I moved the table. <laughs> she's doing, she does okay, but her head's kind of top heavy. And because I made her legs turn inward, she doesn't always want to stand. So I'm going to work on that as well. Perhaps make a nice base for her. But yeah, as you can see, her eyes need to be redone. I had a lot of fun working on her and I cried like a baby when she died in the books. I was, I was torn apart by that. There she goes. There you go, baby girl. <laughs> it doesn't help that I'm on a TV tree and I'm constantly moving the table. Um, but yeah, she will stand. It's just, it needs to be on a stable platform. But yes, I I'm going to work on that. I'm going to make sure she can actually be stable <laughs> so i'm gonna keep working on her but yeah um i hope this helps uh gone again if you would like to see how i made her i would check out that 500 subscriber video and again i, I use hobby brushes for like the really detailed strokes that you see on her eyes right there But yeah, I want to work on giving her those thrush pelt eyes and, like I said, work on, you know, making her more stable. Whether that means making her a little base to sit on or, you know, just maybe, maybe even doing, that's my signature, crazy warrior cat lady. So, this way. Crazy warrior cat lady. And then the idea was when you turned it upside down, it looked like a cat. But yeah, I'm gonna, I could do something under here to kind of make it more stable. Yeah, see, she needs a little bit more stability. I, you know, I'd hate to do this, but I could potentially also maybe hollow out her head a little bit. Hmm, man, that's a thought. Either way, I'll figure it out. But I uh, hope this helps, Gone. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.